Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. Do you ever think, what the hell does that mean? Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. Well, I think, to me, what it means is this. As we grow, as we develop, as we become who we are, we develop sets of frameworks that are self-reinforcing. Is that right? <laughs> self-reinforcing. So that the frameworks deliver to us the experiences that reinforce and solidify the frameworks. And so, when I grow up in Penny Lane, and I experience the experiences that I experience in Penny Lane, Penny Lane gets in my ears and in my eyes. The experiences of those of us who grew up in Penny Lane become our lenses on the world. And so when we say, sometimes kind of glibly, well, you know, perception, reality, whatever, we, we sometimes don't recognize the, the depth of the importance of what that means. That the only way that I can make sense of the world is through my perception of events. And that my perception of events, which I believe to be some kind of cinematic reporting of events that just simply are there in the world are in fact the product of my Penny Lane grown ears and eyes. Until we all individually recognize that, the Im impact that these frameworks have not just on our judgment of the world, on our perception of the world, then we'll never be able to affirm that while I see things differently than you do, I'm not talking metaphor. I'm talking see things differently than you do. Dylan said, you're right from your side and I'm right from mine. We're both just one too many mornings and a thousand miles behind. <laughs>